I want to focus in on one of the three elements uh, that make up a crucial conversation. We've talked about the notion that all crucial conversations start from the standpoint of having opposing opinions. Opposing opinions that have high stakes on either side. And it's that sense that the stakes are getting high that tends to drive a sense of strong emotion for us. And that's really where we have some of our greatest challenge in these conversations. We tend to think that emotion is something that happens up here, right? But in fact, our emotions are very strongly wired into how we function within the world. I mean, our emotional responses aren't just about what happened in traffic today. They're about what our ancestors have passed down to us. Our ancestors, and I know it was our ancestors because we're the ones who survived, right? Our ancestors learned to respond when they thought there was danger coming by, well, first, focusing in on the danger, literally putting up blinders almost around them. So all they could do was pay attention to where the scary thing was coming from, right? Within nanoseconds after those blinders went up, our ancestors also experienced the same thing we do in our bodies every time that we're uncomfortable. They had a rush of blood that ran to their long muscles, their arms and their legs. That rush of blood, that, that focus is driven by our reptilian brain sending a rush of adrenaline through our bodies. So while it's true that we have some of the same responses as our ancestors, we probably don't have the same physical response that our ancestors did. Because when our ancestors thought that something was coming that was dangerous to them, they responded like this, right? And I mean, I realize that the last time you got into a tough conversation, you didn't drop down into a crouch, but remember that your body did. That reptilian brain is still sending out that signal that says, be ready to survive, sending that rush of blood into those long muscles so that if whatever is coming is something that you can take out with a punch, you've got lots of power in that arm to, to make that happen. But if whatever's coming is something that you can't take out, you've got lots of blood flow going on in these long leg muscles so you can run away really fast. So there we are middle of that crucial conversation, the opposing opinions, the high stakes, the strong emotions, and we are in the crouch, in fear. Blood here, blood there. Ladies and gentlemen, where is blood not? <laughs> right, your prefrontal lobe, the part of your brain that you use to plan and collaborate and, and make future arrangements with is all gone. It's literally dark. So think about it. We face some of the toughest conversations in our lives. Some of the toughest conversations in our lives being guided by the part of our brain that responds to oncoming predators. You'll spend 23 hours and 55 minutes out of every day looking exactly like the people in this room. Calm, collaborative, forward thinking, planning, and then the crucial conversation will start and the opposing opinions and the high stakes and the strong emotions will suddenly have you in full reptilian response, full silence and violence. And that's part of what makes it so hard for us to get to a good outcome in these conversations.